line, a beautiful pass and over the shoulder catch by Tucker Cannon for a Mercer first down. Just a beautifully thrown ball by Robert Riddle, Frank. Good protection by the offensive line. Laid it up there, really in double coverage, able to make the grab. And a lot of speed for Cannon. His long pass to Tucker Cannon inside the 20, and then this touchdown, Robert Riddle to Steven Peters. Now, what a break for Chattanooga. Got to capitalize here if you're the Mox. If you're Chattanooga and Rusty Wright, you have to be pleased with the job that you've done in slowing down things in the run. Back to the Mox. The heck of a catch, just good job to punch it out of there by the Mox. Now the seventh catch for the Mercer receiving core. And the second catch, turnover. Looked like number 18. One of those men he was hurdling was Denija Gamage for Mercer. Ford has no regard for life or limb when he carries the ball. Chattanooga trying to pick up the pace, Frank. They're trying to move a little bit quicker. You feel the same way for Mercer sometimes. That the faster they go, the more successful they For can. Chattanooga. Mox may be sensing the Mercer's a little bit tired defensively, hands on hips, and, and trying to take advantage of it. And we're going to get an official's tape. Tried to pick up the pace and moving a little bit quicker. And it, Kenori McKinnon made the tackle right there, and that brings up now a third. Has done, has gotten some pressure, has taken some licks. I feel like now that number 17, the tight end Chris James on the receiving end, Phil. James, a really good story for Chattanooga. It was a quarterback last year, didn't see a snap as the QB, but they're so athletic. Rusty Rock. Walking a little gingerly, though, on that right ankle. Ooh, looked like he went down badly, and he immediately. Or call, was calling the trainers. Of making a couple of men miss and takes it downfield for a Chattanooga first down. You mentioned Tiano stood tall in the pocket. He certainly did. Stepped up. What a spin move by Wood to get away. Harrison pulled back a couple of yards. Picked up a gain of six. Rusty Wright has multiple guys in the backfield that are, have no fear running the football. They will put their head down, not afraid to take some time. It appear to be a field goal situation. Idea, if you are going to go for it here, give it to 32. He'll at least give you a sporting chance. Own 24-yard line with only 18 seconds left and one timeout. Harrison Mox, Chattanooga on a late field goal, takes a 17-14 lead and move the chains for another first down. More good protection up front by the Chattanooga offensive line. First time I think we've called Tyus's name today. We have the 6'4 sophomore team. Good look at Nick Tiano. Behind Tiano, this would be his first action of the game. Yeah, it's not just been Ford. Wood has complimented the running game very nicely and Mox haven't been able to get out on the open field much, but bust a big one right there. And the Mercer defense has to be getting tired. Stretch, but I think the defenses have really grabbed our attention. Rusty Wright has to be so pleased with the job that his guys have done up front. They're thin at linebacker. They knew they were, would be good at the key. Wow, what a job by Tiano to make something happen. Not only avoided, you have to give a lot of credit to guys like Lake and Peterson who have stepped up in the absence of Durden. And that was Jordan Jones again, and Landon Miller, the intended receiver. He comes up with that, and he's taking that to the house. And that will bring up a... Bears will send DeAndre Johnson back, along with Eric Jackson. Box in no real hurry to get out there and punt the football. Right, Mercer touchdown and then stung again on a long kickoff return. And there's Alim Ford, the big freshman running back who had a huge game, over 100 yards rushing. Picked up a touchdown. It's dominating the Mercer running attack, especially the way the Bears ran the ball in the second half last week against Campbell. 
Thought that might be something they could do. Kristen Banks on the field with one of today's star players. Thanks, guys.